Hey child and welcome back to my channel. It is wash day and honey I am long overdue so since it has been summertime I have been out Side. I swim almost every day and right now not only is my hair dirty it looks it look like this honey it, 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 it look like this so I am getting ready to try something on my hair and that is finger coils I have not done it at this length so I'm really interested to see how that turns out and so like I said since my hair is filthy we're gonna do an entire wash day wash conditioning and go ahead and getting this style together so if you want to see how I go from this to this. Keep on watching. Roll that beautiful pink footage. Hey, child. All right, so let's go ahead and get this video started. As you can see, my, my hair need a little... <laughs> It need a little help. So I'm using my boobs at Trey Lux to get myself on together. Shout out to Trey Lux for sponsoring this video because y'all know what sponsorships I get. Donations. Donations. Gifts. So if you're not familiar with Trey Lux, they are a clean beauty hair brand. They don't use silicones, parabens, sulfates, mineral oils, all the stuff that you hate, they hate it too. So they make their products with clean beauty ingredients. I am using the sulfate free cleanser. It is the curl, renew and restore gentle cleanser to wash my hair. I'm using untied and I, this is my baby Gator y'all. Y'all know this is my favorite leave in period. And I am going to incorporate the Curl Supreme Cream. I'll show that to you in the styling portion of the video. So, voiceover face coming in the building. Let's get this hair to clean. And welcome to my bathroom. So to me, the basis of a really good style is to start with really good clean hair. So I use the Trey Lux Gentle Cleanser and I start by shampooing my scalp and I make sure I get that really good because number one, like I said, I've been swimming so my hair is dirty. Number two, I'm on a growth journey. In order to get my hair to grow in, in a really healthy way, I try to make sure my scalp stays clean so ain't nothing blocking the hair from coming out out. So I scrub my scalp really good and then I go ahead and go down the strands because we wash the whole hair in this African-American household. And the one thing I do want to say is sometimes people don't shampoo their hair because they feel like shampoos are stripping. So what I like about this particular cleanser is when they say gentle cleansing rinse, that's exactly what it is. Even though I do shampoo like the strands as well, it never, ever, ever, heavy on the ever strips my hair. So I do give my hair a good clean shampoo session. And as you can see, the lather on this is A1. So after I'm done cleaning, I use the untie the knot. So like I said, I do think you should not completely erase your deep conditioning sessions but every other wash day i don't mind skipping this so i do use this untie the knot although it's a leave-in i use it as a conditioner so i make sure i put it on really soaking wet hair and that's the thing about really natural ingredients a lot of times you may need to add a lot more water to your hair because they're not using synthetic ingredients to make your hair feel softer and you want to make sure you don't get flaking so i do go ahead and make sure my hair is super super wet and i apply the untie the knot you don't need a lot and the one thing i love about this is it smells like christmas morning i say that every time it's like this cinnamon smell it smells amazing so i saturate all of my strands with the untie the knot i start with two pumps add more as needed and i put it on soaking wet hair put this cap on and i leave it in do not rinse it out so that's my shampoo session let's start styling all right so it's time to install my coils i have two tips for you number one definitely 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 work in sections because it will help with the manageability of installing this style number two definitely 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 don't attempt this if you got something else to do today because honey this gonna be all day process so speaking of all day i did the back half off camera just because listen time is of the essence and y'all don't like long videos anyway so let's go ahead and start installing so let's take down this section i'm actually gonna split this in half so i can you know have some manageability so there's two different stylers that i would advise you to do number one a mousse if you want a softer more fluffy hole but if you want them to last a little longer and you don't mind a little bit of crunch go with the gel now i ain't come this far just come this far and i ain't come this far just leave me in for two days so we're going to do a gel all right so I'll just rub my gel together and put it on this whole section right now, if you want to use this as an opportunity to do starter locks, go right ahead, honey. Go ahead and use a comb, though, to make sure your parts are good and clean. I know I don't have time, so we're not going to use a comb today. I'm just going to continue to rake this product in, and then I'm going to take my fingernail. That's the one time these good long nails come in handy. Go ahead and scoop out some hair. 
So I'm gonna take about this much, right? And starting at the root, I'm just going to curl. So I'm twirling it around my finger, pull down a little bit. Twirl, pull down a little bit. Twirl, pull down a little bit, all the way until the very end. And when I'm done, it'll look a little something like that. See, isn't it pretty? Look at it. So let's do that again. I'm going to take off a section with my nail. Go ahead and smooth it down. And then I am going to start twirling. Twirl it, pull down, twirl, pull down, twirl, twirl, pull down, twirl, pull down all the way to the end. Let that sucker go, you see? So we're gonna do it one more time. Take my nail, take off a section, smooth down and twirl. Now I definitely want to say because I don't care about them being the same size, I'm just grabbing just whatever feels good to my soul. But if you care about things being really defined, you definitely want to use a part and make sure you're grabbing equal amounts of hair in the section. But again, I ain't got time for that. So we're just going to let that go. So go ahead and vibe out to this music and I'm going to go ahead and install on the sides and then I'm going to show you what I do differently at the top. This is completely optional. So, because I'm going for a faux tapered look, I do know I need to use my pick to get a little bit of volume at the top. But if I put like a pick on some hair that is really hard, that could cause breakage. So, I don't want my hair to be as soft as it would be if I use a mousse, but I don't want it as crunchy as it would be if I use just the gel. So, in comes the styling cream. This is the Trey Lux Curl Supreme Hydrating Cream. It's the 4 in 1 cream. So, I'm going to put a little bit on there. And what that will do is add some more moisture to my hair and it will actually put a barrier between my hair and the gel so it pretty much softens the hold of the gel it'll still be firmer than just a mousse but just not as firm as the rest of my hair so i just got a little bit of cream and i'm just rub that through and again this is completely optional i'm just doing this to protect my hair once i start picking it out honey because ain't nobody got time for no breakage or whatever so and now i'm gonna do the exact same thing as i did around the rest of my hair which is put on some gel and twirl like Kenya more now so let's go the dry end. So I'm going to sit under a hooded dryer until this is 100% dry. My tip to you, do not come out from under the dryer until you know it's dry. And number two, don't touch it. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go under the dryer. What's up y'all? So my hair is finally dry. I am just applying a little bit of oil to it to give it some shine. I'm exhausted. So we got to go ahead and get this done. So now I'm about to do the step that is very much so individual to each person and that is pick you basically just want to pick until you get a shape that you like you could very much so if you want just leave your hair and finger coils but i'm gonna be honest with you chief, i ain't never doing that i want to look like a rock star so i'm gonna pick it up right there so i'm just going to yeah let's just go ahead and pick and also know that if you want you can unravel some of the coils just to have a fuller look so that's what i'm gonna do Okay, so like I said, this is a very individual process. You just know how you like your hair to look and kind of shape from there. So I lift at the roots around the side and the back, and then I lift in the middle part of the coil in the top, just so it can be a little bit more elevated. And then where I want, I kind of separate some of the coils just to get a more defined curl look. And just like that, my coils are complete. And what I love about finger coils is yes, it's tedious, okay? But just like many twists, they are very versatile. You can use them for starter locks 
or if you want you can use them just as a protective style just to wear your coils and then when you're ready unravel them and you got a coil out similar to a twist style so that is it thank you Trey Lux for partnering with me on this video y'all make sure you check them out I have information on them in my description box you can go to discovertreylux.com slash store locations to find them in the Walmart and Walgreens closest to you and be sure to check out Trey Lux at Walgreens right now from now until July 24th 2021 you can get 25% off your Trey Lux purchases so y'all this is taking me a long time and I ain't even gonna lie mother's tired so I'm out of here if y'all have any questions leave them down below I love y'all Maki Dada and I'm out bye